Christmas and Easter eggs are not two things you usually hear in the same sentence. Well, unless that sentence is, Jesus Christ, it's only three days after Christmas and my local supermarket has already got Easter eggs out. As Brits, it is our solemn duty to complain about this to absolutely anyone who listen. Anyway, I digress. For today's list, we're bringing these two beloved holidays together as we take a look at some of the times that video game developers have hidden special festive treats for players to find. Whether these are occurrences you can simply stumble upon while exploring your favourite fictional locales, or those that can only happen on a certain date in late December, or by meeting other specific criteria, they're all welcome on this list. I'm that one presenter that just can't seem to stop scoffing the green triangles, Ben, from Triple Jump, and here are 10 Christmassy Easter eggs hidden in your favourite video games. Number 10. Car Santa – Road Trip Adventure As we all know, Santa Claus is responsible for ensuring that everyone has presents to open come the Yuletide morn, but have you ever stopped to wonder how inanimate objects get their gifts? Well, thanks to the 2002 PS2 title Road Trip Adventure, we no longer have to worry about who delivers Christmas presents to cars. In Road Trip Adventure, which combines the racing and adventure genres, players are aiming to qualify for and win the World Grand Prix, as doing so will earn them the presidency. <laughs> Oh, weird. Whilst on their journey, the player will meet a plethora of different cars, including one particularly festive Renault 5 Turbo. Upon reaching White Mountain, players will find a rather large house. If they go inside between midday and 5pm, they'll find a little red car who claims to be Santa Claus. He'll tell them all about the preparations for the holiday season before gifting the player his Christmas horn. Well, hey, get your mind out of the gutter, this is a family show. Those who aren't already in the know can easily miss this encounter and those folks shouldn't be too surprised if they wake up on Christmas morning to find coal stuffed in their tailpipes. What did I just say? Stop laughing. Number 9. A festive Luke Skywalker, Saints Row 4 If you're in the market for something festive to play this holiday season, then you could do far worse than look in the direction of Saints Row 4's How the Saints Save Christmas DLC. The add-on follows the player character, who is too much of a Scrooge to save Santa from the game's Matrix-like simulation, and the subsequent efforts of the Saints to show them the true meaning of Christmas. Being affiliated with Saints Row 4 means that there is plenty of silliness afoot and the odd surprise hidden amongst the snow and festive decorations, including a snowman human centipede and a police box turned toilet called the Turdis. Doctor, who the heck comes up with this stuff, eh? Uh. Perhaps our favourite festive easter egg, though, is the nod to Star Wars Episode V, The Empire Strikes Back, that can be found in a cave in the North Pole. When players spawn during the second mission, if they head backwards into the cave rather than pressing on, they'll find an unfortunate gingerbread man suspended by his feet and reaching out for his candy-striped lightsaber. Jeez, I sure hope there aren't any wampers about. That's the last thing you'd want to deal with on Christmas, because they'll rip your arms off. Number 8. The Christmas Tree – Mad Max Have you ever sat down and thought, what would happen to Christmas if the apocalypse should strike? To be fair, it would probably be one of the last things on your mind if you were faced with an extinction-level event. Still, there's not much point in surviving if you can't live a little, and we like to think that even if the bombs do drop, we'll still get to enjoy a bit of festive cheer every December. Clearly, somebody down at Avalanche Studios shares this view as they decided to include a bit of holiday spirit in 2015's Mad Max. The game itself gives a largely depressing view of the future. Set in an open desert world, Mad Max sees players controlling the titular anti-hero as he builds a car takes on gangs of raiders and attempts to find his way to the Plains of Silence where he hopes to find peace. However, amidst all the violence and sand, eagle-eyed players can find a fully decorated Christmas tree complete with presents and mannequin onlookers. How did it get there? Who knows? But clearly, there's still somebody out there in the post-apocalyptic hellscape that's desperate to spread a little festive joy. Whoever they are, I salute them. Number 7. Santa's Sleigh – Gears of War 4 you might think, with the threat of the swarm looming over Sarah, that the good folks at the centre of Gears of War 4 wouldn't have much time to be thinking about Christmas, but if you did think that, then you'd be mighty wrong, as amidst all of the chaos it's still possible to enjoy a visit from Santa. In order to catch a glimpse of Santa's sleigh, there are a few criteria that you'll need to meet. Obviously, you'll need to be playing Gears of War 4 at Christmas, after all, Jolly Saint Nick doesn't just ship presents out at any old time, does he? You'll then need to load up the game's prologue, and as you make your way through all of 
the carnage, you must keep an eye out for five snowmen. They're not your friend, though, soldier, and you'll need to fire off a round or two and completely destroy them. Keep pressing forward, dispatching snow persons as you go, and once you've gotten rid of the fifth and final one, look to the sky. You'll be greeted with jingle bells and a slightly militarized flying sleigh that's piled high with gifts. When Santa says that he'll get everyone their presents, no matter where they are, he certainly means it. Number 6. Christmassy Homer, The Simpsons Hit and Run if we could be granted one Christmas wish, we'd probably ask for a sequel to or remake of the 2003 action-adventure title The Simpsons Hit and Run. The game was heavily influenced by the Grand Theft Auto series and saw The Simpsons working to solve the mystery behind the strange goings-on in Springfield. Sadly, Santa's elves haven't yet been able to produce the announcement of a follow-up to this wonderfully fun game, and we don't foresee one materialising any time in the near future. Luckily, we can still get our festive cheer on in other ways, like enjoying a holiday-themed Easter egg in the original Hit and Run. Indeed, if players boot up the game on December the 25th, they'll notice that the menu screen has undergone something of a makeover. A Christmas tree, complete with beautifully wrapped presents, now sits in the corner of The Simpsons' living room, and Homer, who can usually be seen wearing his white shirt and blue pants, Pants combo is now bedecked in a charming Santa outfit. This isn't the only time that Hit and Run's menu screen gets a new look for the holidays, as those playing on Halloween or Thanksgiving will also get to see specially themed visuals as well. What a treat! Number 5. A Christmas Cheat Donkey Kong Country 3 Dixie Kong's Double Trouble Cheating at games isn't kosher cool at the best of times, but I think we can all agree that cheating at Christmas is downright reprehensible. Oh really, James? Did you really roll a double six but it fell off the table so you can't show us? <laughs> and that just happens to mean you bypassed Mayfair on which I have placed a hotel. Absolute bull hockey! In the case of Donkey Kong Country 3 Dixie Kong's Double Trouble, though, we're happy to give the use of cheat codes a pass just this once, as they result in a very festive Easter egg. Whilst on the game select screen of the 1996 SNES title, all players need to do to uncover a Christmassy surprise is highlight which slot they wish to load, press L R R L R R L R L R, and then enter the code MERRY. This will transform the game's bonus levels, turning the stars into bells, the bananas into presents, and switching the regular tunes for something far more festive. Trust us, this is one Easter egg you're going to go absolutely ape for. You know, because the whole thing is about monkey. Number 4. A Festive Intruder – The Sim Series According to parents all over the Christmas celebrating world, there's a foolproof way to summon Santa Claus on the night of the 24th of December. Simply leave out a plate of sweet treats, a glass of milk or sherry, and a carrot for Rudolph, settle down in bed, and ta-da! Presents shall magically appear under the tree by the following morning. Alas, even by following this method to the letter, you won't catch a glimpse of old Saint Nick no matter how hard you try. Whilst we may never get to meet the real Santa, certainly not without a pricey trip to Finland, we can, at the very least, gaze upon his digital countenance by playing The Sims series. In The Sims Living Large and The Sims 2 Holiday Party Pack, players can lure Santa Claus into their Sims homes by ensuring that there is a Christmas tree on the lot and that cookies are readily available. Delivering all of those presents requires sustenance, after all. Like his real-world counterpart, the Santa in The Sims leaves presents for the household, which can range from chess sets to TVs, though Sims 2 players might find coal in their stockings should they munch all of the cookies before Santa arrives. So, you know, behave. Number 3. Santa Mano – Shenmue Shenmue is a game about revenge. Specifically, it's a game that tells the story of Ryo, a teenager on a quest for vengeance against Lan Di, the man who killed his father whilst seeking a mysterious stone artifact known as the Dragon Mirror. I think we can probably all agree that the subject matter of Shenmue isn't particularly festive. Still, that didn't stop the developers from including a little holiday cheer in the game. If you're a fan of Shenmue and just happen to be playing it at Christmas time, then you might be lucky enough to stumble upon a familiar face. Indeed, whilst wandering the streets of Dubuita, players might just come across Santa Claus himself. Okay, fine, it's not really Santa, but a chap known as Santa Mayno, a retired marathon runner who now advertises local businesses. If you do happen to run into Santa Mayno, he'll wish you a very Merry Christmas before recommending that you go and buy a hamburger. It's not exactly the most festive of foods, but hey, who am I to argue with Santa Claus or one of his many minions? I certainly don't want to end up on the naughty list. Number 2. Calendar Man – Batman Arkham City 
2011's Batman Arkham City probably isn't a title that would immediately spring to mind if we asked you to think of festive video games. That, of course, would be Batman Arkham Origins, which is literally set at Christmas time. Regardless, the sequel to the wonderful Batman Arkham Asylum sees old Brucey Dubs incarcerated in the humongous super prison Arkham City, where he must get to the bottom of Warden Hugo Strange's nefarious schemes. If you're the sort of person that likes to kick back on Christmas Day with a little drinky, a plate of mince pies and a video game or two, then it might be worth dusting off that old copy of Arkham City to see if you can find out what Calendar Man has to say. By heading to visit Calendar Man on the 25th of December, players can hear of a brutal holiday-themed murder committed by the serial killer. Calendar Man tells Batman how Judge Harkness has sworn that he would send him to the gallows, despite the state having ruled the murderer insane. And so Calendar Man killed a Santa Claus for his suit before heading to that judge's Christmas party and hanging Harkness with a string of lights. Ah. That wasn't very Christmassy, was it, Calendar Man? Let's hope we can bring it back up at the end. No murder, okay? Number one. Assassinating the Wet Bandit. Oh, for God's sake. Hitman. Those of you who have seen the 1990 Christmas comedy Home Alone will no doubt be familiar with Harry and Marv, aka the Wet Bandits. Those dastardly criminals, played by Joe Pesci and Daniel Stern, break into people's vacant homes and not only steal their prized possessions, but also cause floods. And on Christmas as well. Tut tut. Young Kevin McAllister, of course, gets some degree of revenge on the duo of delinquents, punishing them with everything from serious burns to a paint can to the face. But if you feel like the pair got off too easily, after all, they managed to escape from prison within a year, then maybe you should boot up 2016's Hitman. In the bonus mission, Holiday Hoarders, everyone's favourite follically challenged assassin, Agent 47, is tasked with eliminating a duo of devious thieves who are attempting to steal Christmas presents in Palais de Valeska. The thieves' names? Harry Smokey Bagnat and Marv Slick Goniff. The Easter Egg is a fun and festive nod to a much-loved Christmas movie, and we must admit that getting the opportunity to put a stop to the Wet Bandit's shenanigans for good filled us with holiday cheer. Happy Christmas, you filthy animals. 